The National Democratic Congress has outlined the party's plans to address the country's housing issue if given the chance to govern Grenada following the June 23rd general elections. Political leader of the NDC, Deacon Mitchell, says under his leadership, housing materials will not be dropped off for people in need to be left without being used by the homeowner because the individual or family does not have the capacity to get the repairs done. He said instead people will be assisted with home repairs, especially the elderly and disabled. Starting with the homes of our retirees, the homes of our senior citizens, and the homes of our disadvantaged persons, particularly persons who may be physically or mentally challenged. The next category of persons will then be particularly single mothers who are raising children on their own. The NDC Mitchell said their priority will be increasing and improving the housing stock. We are aiming to construct 2,500 homes. The homes will be made available for sale. The price ranges will vary depending on the size of the houses. The plans for the houses will be designed in such a way that they can be scaled up. He said the NDC plan is to ensure that in the case of new houses constructed, there will be supporting facilities and amenities to create a proper village. We're ensuring that there are things like playgrounds for our children. <laughs> Parks. Ensuring that things like grocery stores are located close by. Ensuring that even simple things like if you need a post office, that those things are located within the communities. Ensuring that if there is a preschool is required, that a preschool is located within the community. Ensuring that things like basketball courts, tennis courts, community centers are made part of the communities. The new national party has also been speaking about its plans to address the housing issue that has been plaguing Grenadians for years. Dr. Mitchell at a rally in Carrier Coup announced his party's plans to assist young first-time homeowners under 35 if returned the mandate to govern Grenada. Under our proposal, individuals must present evidence that financing for construction or purchase of the houses on the land has been secured. Once they have qualified, our support will be in the form of grant vouchers, in other words, we'll give some grant of a maximum of $10,000 per approved single applicant or $20,000 per married couple. Cherry and Blackman Stephen, GBN News.